Mari War Babu show, it's time to walk again. It's time to walk again. So Mangalo Christo Amenda Magdata de Piras Desa Magdata de Piras at the Dikanle Manus so cycle del a miracle and the Chiro trial and the Muo trial. But do you know it's up to you? You can sit there and not want anything. You can get comfortable and not do anything. God wants to work. God wants to do a miracle. God wants to work on the Amaratrayoli. But it's up to you. If you don't want it, that's okay. There'll be another time that God will work with you. But not this time. We came here to change. We came here the Delamir Del Zor. We came in this house for something. And the something is, Lord, I can't do it. I could never do the impossible. But with you, everything is possible. I want you to go to the first scripture that we're going to find. It's going to be found in the book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah, verse 7, I mean chapter 7. 7 and verse 1. Katka odel mangal te del du magmanusasa. With each and every one of us. Mangote Motola Menga of Sukar Buchi, I sosti avilam and the Kangari Bekako Jess. Chapter 7, verse 1. This is the word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord. Hang a catch chassis a war ballet de Vlesti, Kaevili, Ka Jeremiah. Stand at the gate of the Lord's house. Can I be lam? I be lam to as soon as a war ballet de Vlesti. Penga stand at the gate of the Lord's house and there proclaim this message. Hear the word of the Lord, all you people, not some people, but all you people. Every single one of you and also me. Hear the word of the Lord, all you people at the gate to worship the Lord. Am I reading it right? Am I doing pretty good? Huh? I'm doing good. I'll read it again. Stand at the gate of the Lord's house and there proclaim this message. Hear the word of the Lord. All you people of Judah who came through these gates to worship the Lord. Now you got to listen. Every one of us that came through those doors, those gates, we came to worship God. Every one of you 
I want you to listen. This is what the Lord Almighty says, the God of Israel says, reform your ways and your actions and attitude. And I will let you live in this place. You guys listening now? The word of the Lord is so beautiful. Is so wonderful, and it's up to you to listen. If you came in those gates and sat down, and if you walk out those gates and out the doors on the streets, and if you didn't accept this, you didn't learn anything, nothing. The Lord has not touched you. You did not let the Lord touch you. Nothing at all. Do not trust in the captive words and say, this is the temple of the Lord the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord. You came in the church and you did not do anything, but you just kept on saying, I came to the temple of the Lord. I came to the house of God. I came to the presence of God. I came in the holiness of God. Do not trust in any words. This is the temple of the Lord. The temple of the Lord. The temple of the Lord. If you really change, if you really change, if you really changed your ways and your actions and deal with each other justly. Every one of us has to put everything aside and get rid of it. Don't hold any luggage on your back. Because sooner or later, you're going to get tired. Sooner or later, nothing is going to happen. Sooner or later, you're going to give up. You just came to the house of God and nothing happened at all. Can the word of God work in our hearts? Can something happen on the Amarotrayo? Can it be done? Huh? Listen. I want you to go to the book of Ezekiel. Ezekiel. Eleven. Eleven and nineteen. Odel del Dumai Motola Menga. I will give them an undivided heart and put a new spirit in them. I will remove from them their hearts of stone and give them a heart 
of flesh. I'll remove your stubbornness. I'll remove all the things that you say, that's the way it is. It's not going to happen. Not going to go to church anymore. This is the way it is. Take it easy. God is God. He's still on the throne. And he's going to work on the truly law. They make lambs. Then they will follow my decrees and be careful to keep my laws. They will be my people and I will be their God. Never, never giving up. But God is ready to work with you and with me. Amen? Amen. You want God to work with you? You want to walk with him again? Like from the beginning, when you first heard about Kachaskar Buchi, Swinto Buchi, Pinga, let me ask you a question. Pinga, isn't my word like a hammer that smashes anything? That's my word, like a hammer. Won't you let him smash our hearts? Desai kordo pe buchi, desai avel o Holy Spirit, hai kordo buchi and the amaro ile. Well, God can do these things if we follow him. Amen? I want you to go to John, the fifth chapter. John 5. I can't Sigmanus and he's at a pool every so often an angel of the Lord comes I is Bravo I is Bravo and then something happens when that person goes in first that's the person that gets healed. But there was one man there. Everybody used to jump in before him and they would get healed. Boy, he would just stay there year after year, year after year, and not get healed. Now I'm going to take it from there because he would be there and just loaf around, not doing nothing at all. Sometimes we don't do nothing in the eyes of God. We just sit there and we think just by coming to the church, that's all it takes and that's all I want. No, I want you to listen. One day, Jesus came. Salavilo Amin. Sartumen. Sarman. And to each and every one of us. And what's your attitude, Canavelo Cristo Tutti? What's going to happen? when Jesus comes to you. I think some more told, Bujenesas Kutsa, at the pool. One who was there had been an invalid for 38 years. He was sick for 
38 years just sitting around, not doing nothing. Listen. When Jesus saw him lying there and learned that he had been in this condition for a long time, he asked him, do you want to get well? He didn't want to get well. He was comfortable. He made friends there. Everything was okay. He made himself comfortable. Pinker, do you want to get well? Or don't you? I'm talking about not only spiritual, but also physical. O manus descontrai. We'll read that verse again. When Jesus saw him lying there and learned that he had been in this condition for a long time, he asked him, do you want to get well? I question mark. Do you want to get well? Is it possible? Sir, the invalid replied, I have no one to help me into the pool when the water is stirred. While I am trying to get in, someone else goes down ahead of me. So somebody else goes in before me. And I hear there's a miracle out there in Chicago, in New York, in Miami. Listen, Jesus is in the midst of us. And he wants to heal you. Every time I try, somebody else gets in ahead of me. Excuses, excuses. Then Jesus said to him, get up. Then Jesus said to him, get up. Pick up your mat and walk. I guess we need to pick up our mat, our problems, our troubles, our stubbornness. We need to pick up our mat and start walking for God. Start doing the right thing for God. Because we came through those gates. Get out of that depression. Get out of that problem. Get out of that, am I going to get healed? What? Can't God do impossible things? Son! That's what God wants to tell us today. He wants to change each and every one of us. And he wants to tell us, Pick up your mat and walk. Get out of this position. Go back to the house of God and stand at the gate and give your testimony and say, God has healed me. God has did a miracle in my life. At once, the man was cured, healed, picked up his mat, and walked. Jesus is telling us, 
pick up that problem and get rid of it. The mat is your problem. This mat became this man's problem. But he didn't know how to get rid of it. God was right there. Do you want to get healed? Do you want to change? Do you want to feel better? Well, God can do a miracle in your life. We've seen miracle after miracle. But can I have my miracle? Yes, I can. If Jesus said it, it's going to take place on him with life. Don't give up. Pick up your mat and keep walking. Come back to the house of God. Don't come once in a while and say the house of God, the temple of God, the church of God. It doesn't work that way. Jesus loves Ganavin. He sees you. I declare to you our spot. Can he encourage us? Can he give us strength to keep on going? You know that. I want you to go to our scripture and we're gonna we're gonna close with this. I want you to go to second. Thessalonians. Second Thessalonians. Two. And sixteen. May our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father who loves us who cares for us who gave his life for us who gave his blood for us and by those, by those stripes we have been healed may our Lord Jesus Christ himself and our Father who loves us and by his grace gave us eternal encouragement and good hope. Encourage our hearts and strengthen you in every good deed and word. I want to pray that God, whoever needs a healing, whoever's been wanting a healing, and you think it hasn't happened, God has seen your tears. Or whatever your heart desires, Avinkaltari, and God's going to meet you here. He's going to give you the desire of your heart. Lord, we're here before you. We're asking for help. Godi tu bulle sa steri mos devo tu mo te dan tenen yek pasu karing tu te ai tu les inia var de za inia karing nen Lord we're coming we're putting every problem at the altar because you are the God that he would deal.